Kids Zone with Trishy. Frozen Snow and Tell. It had been a few months since Olaf had helped Anna and Elsa end the eternal winter in Aradell. And as one of the kingdom's newest residents, he wasted no time in exploring his home. Olaf loved seeing new sights, hearing new sounds, and smelling new smells. One day, Olaf happened upon a group of children. A parade, he squealed. I love parades. Hi, Olaf, a girl named Lisbeth said. What are you doing today? Just wandering around town, Olaf replied. You mean wandering, she said. No, wondering. I'm wondering why are you parading inside when it's so nice out? <laughs> it's not a parade, Lisbeth giggled. It's school. Then she followed her classmates into the building. Olaf was curious. He'd never been to a place called school before. Peering through the window, Olaf saw Lisbeth. She was in front of the class, sharing her collection of seashells. They were different shapes, sizes, and colors. My shells are special to me because my papa is a fisherman. He sails the boat to many different places, and he always brings shells back to me from his trips. Then the teacher, Miss Halverson, welcomed Olaf inside. Would you care to join us? She asked. Really? Could I? Olaf asked. We're having show and tell, said Lisbeth. Ooh, gasped Olaf. I love show and tell. That's my favorite. What is it? Miss Halverson explained that the students were sharing their collections, groups of items that had special meaning for them. It was Finn's turn next. He poured smooth, shiny marbles into his hand for the class to see. Olaf noticed that collections could be made up of all sorts of things, like marbles, rocks, figurines, or even fish. Olaf loved hearing about all the different collections the children had brought in. Suddenly, he raised his hand. Miss Halverson, can I share my collection too? Olaf asked. I think you mean may I share my collection, Miss Halverson said. Of course, Olaf said. She smiled. Go ahead, Olaf. It's your turn. Hi, I'm Olaf, he said, and I like warm hugs. I collect them from everyone I meet. Miss Halverson smiled again. Olaf, collections are usually made of things you can touch. Olaf's eyes lit up, and he nodded with excitement. First, Olaf pulled off his carrot nose. Then he reached up and took a handful of snow from his flurry. Next, he pulled out an icicle with a tip broken off from behind his back. It was certainly an unusual collection. He placed each item on Miss Halverson's desk. Olaf, Miss Halverson began. I don't think you understand. Items in a collection have value or meaning. Yes. They're unique. Right. They're special in some way. Gotcha. Miss Halverson looked at all the items on her desk. Usually we collect things that aren't just parts of our bodies. But Olaf pointed out that his carrot nose was not just part of his body. It was the first gift he'd ever received. This carrot reminds me of the first day I met my friends, Anna and Sven, Olaf explained. When Anna gave me the carrot to use as my nose, Sven was so cute. He kept trying to kiss it, so whenever I see it, it makes me smile. One of the children raised her hand. What's special about snow? Olaf pointed to the small cloud over his head. This is my own personal flurry. My friend Elsa gave this to me, he said. She said snowmen didn't last long in the summer sun. Now, wherever I go, I think of her friendship. Miss Halverson began to understand. And the icicle? Olaf held it to his eye. I used this to watch for my friend Kristoff. When he returned to the castle to save Anna, he explained. 
It reminds me what true love looks like. When Olaf had finished sharing, he looked at Miss Halverson. Miss Halverson, your eyes melting, he said. With a smile, Miss Halverson wiped away a small tear. Then the entire class cheered as they came up to hug the little snowman. Olaf was thrilled. His collection of hugs had just grown a lot.